This foundational belief that we all live on a spinning ball earth makes way for our big government god to be worshipped as a false idol, then forced into paying tribute to that very system that keeps us all unknowingly brainwashed. Led to believe, from schools, that intelligence rests upon accepting, absorbing, and regurgitating information presented, confirming successful programming installation. So brainwashed, trusting, and dependent upon our educational systems, parents, being products of that same system, eagerly offer up their children's minds for programming shortly after their arrival on Earth. With the message, to resist is not only futile, but insane. The population is harshly punished into submission until accepting the programming one way or the other. The opposite truth is you're left with two choices. You can be true to yourself, ask questions, find real answers and break free from your programming, spread the truth about Earth far and wide at the risk of being ostracized, knowing that when attempts to expose the flat Earth to programmed controlled minds are made, they'll vehemently resist. Programmed so well to know what they think they know as undeniable truth about the Earth, Moon, Stars, and Sun, that even if they could question their programming, they're unable to see any benefit for them to do so because they're perfectly happy in experiencing comfort and contentment while unknowingly on a path to extinction. Or, two, you can be true to yourself, ask questions, find real answers, and break free from your programming, seek out truth and meaning of our existence for yourself only sharing with a select few that may be ready and or deserving enough to begin to be deprogrammed, knowing that those who walk amongst you are mostly, hopelessly, brainwashed, with many doomed to ultimate life's failure and living your life, continuing to seek paths to the truth about our Earth and Creator, while being a creator yourself by having as many children as you can support, teaching them to rise above all the lies, distractions, and temptations of consumer gluttony. I guess one of the biggest dilemmas is what, when, and how do you tell your children? When and if you hopefully seek out the truth about the very ground we walk on? Do you tell your children all of what they're learning in school is BS, and while attending school to do it in a mode of suspension of disbelief? Do you withdraw them from school to homeschool them, knowing it will not prepare them for the world of deception we live in? Do you advise them to listen even more carefully in absorbing the programming entirely and maybe just maybe they can become an astronaut, if they have the right stuff, selected for a possible upcoming mission to Mars, for a starring acting role, playing the part of a pathological liar? Do you flat out tell them the flat out truth about our flat earth, and that they have been under mind control with everything they have been told, have learned and will be taught, are lies intent on keeping them from reproducing? Will they even believe you? That, my friends, is all up to you to handle and figure out. It brings tears to my eyes that life is nothing like we have been led to believe. Those in control of our minds have convinced us that we all live on a painting of a spinning ball. It's been said, the bigger the lie, the easier it is to believe. Sadly, believing the biggest lie ever told in all of human history has resulted in the masses' total loss of control of their mind, body, and spirit, a loss so complete that many will never even realize they have lost it. This world is not what you think it is This world is not what you think it is Oh, oh